We are Southeastern 16. That's Chris Lee. I'm Chase Robinson. And we're going to have some fun today as we are going to give you our predictions for who we think will be in the new expanded 12-team college football playoff. Uh, this was a, a fun task to do, Chris. I mean, we had to, we know SEC football, we keep up with with, with college football as a whole, but to, to sit here and figure out who goes where, and uh, man, this was a this was a fun little exercise here. We had to do our homework for this. I mean, it did a lot of it. Now, our expertise is in the SEC, so when we get into other teams, we're not as knowledgeable, but we made it our best effort. And I know you and I do not know what the, each other, the, what the other one has picked. So I, I can't wait to see your bracket, Chase. And I'm, I'm sure you're wondering what I've done too. Yes, I am looking. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, we'll dive into that in just a second. But first, let's talk about Bet Online, the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything online sports betting. Right now, you can receive a 50% free bet of up to $250 on your first deposit to bet on anything from the UFC uh, to baseball to Formula One racing. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads while the games are being played. When the game's over, you can go to the online casino, get in on a game of blackjack or poker or one of the over 150 slots games. Head over to the website today to get out on the action. Use promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% free bet credit on your first deposit up to $250. That is promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V. Bet online. The game starts here. All right, Chris. So without further ado, we will unveil uh, each of our playoff predictions for the uh, 2024 college football playoff i will share mine first and uh, walk you through it would love to get your feedback and then uh, we'll look at yours but here is my predictions uh, my projected college football playoff bracket all right so i got georgia at number one representing as the sec champ i got the uh, oregon ducks number two a lot of people have Ohio State favored that position, but I like the Ducks this year. I got uh, Clemson winning the ACC in the number three spot, and I got the uh, the Utah Utes there at number four. So that's my my conference champs top four. Uh, so they'll get the buys first round, and then uh, this is where you know it gets fun. I got Texas number five. Uh, at number six, I've got Ohio State. Seven, Alabama. Eight, Ole Miss. I got Notre Dame, number nine. Missouri, 10. Penn State, 11. And I got our group of five team, Tulane, number 12. Um, again, it took it took some work to get here. Um, but I, I feel like uh, the SEC will be well represented. We've got Georgia, Texas. Um, Alabama, Missouri, and Ole Miss in my bracket. Um, but uh, yeah, your 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 initial thoughts as you see my projected playoff bracket. Well, we don't have the exact same twelve teams in here. I will I will not tell you how many differences we have. Um, and a reminder to people watching that the number one through four seeds those are conference champions, top four conference champions. So, um, which I don't necessarily like that rule yeah but it's the rule they've set so that's why you see some of these sec teams further down the pecking i will tell you this i did have georgia is my number one overall seed also and i think uh the the schedule is brutal and i think ske scheduling chase that that's where it made this tough yeah because if we just said all right who are the best 12 teams or maybe the best 11 and the non power four champion or the group of five as it would be, that'd be easier. But it's it's going through and saying, all right, who do these teams play? Is the schedule prohibitive? Because I don't know about you. I had, there's that balance between, all right, how much do I believe in a team? But like how treacherous is their path to get here? And I'll, I'll tell you one team right. that I had trouble with, that's Alabama. Yeah. I just looked at that schedule and I said, I don't know what to do with these guys. They're Alabama, but <clears throat> you coach. And, and oh, by the way, games at Wisconsin, at Tennessee, at LSU, at Oklahoma, also hosting Georgia at home. And that, that was kind of the, that I'll, I'll tell you that, that was my toughest team to know what to do with 
just yeah. because of that schedule. Like you remember the year, what, what was the year that I think South Carolina upset Alabama was Steven Garcia yeah. and that team had all kinds of talent, but the schedule just was brutal and, and they lost three games. And I think they were all real close and it just kind of was a failure of a season. And I'll tell you, Alabama was my toughest team to know what to do with because I kind of toggled back and forth between, well, they're Alabama and well, they're Alabama, but it's a new Alabama with a different head coach and oh, that schedule. Yeah. Yeah. What I struggled with is I got Clemson three as the ACC champ, but I struggle to figure out if, if, if there's going to be another, ACC team, yeah, get a bid in the in the playoff. Like I, I don't know where because there's so many good SEC teams, and and you know the SEC is going to get several teams in. The Big Ten is going to get several teams in. So where does that leave the rest of the ACC? To me, that's where it was really hard to to figure out. And I think a group of five team will get in. I like Tulane a lot. That's why I got them uh, there at number twelve. Um, it's just it, it's hard to figure out how they're going to handle uh, a conference like the ACC and the Big Twelve. Will they get multiple? It's 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 hard to gauge at this point. But to me, there's so many better teams than the second, third, and fourth in the ACC. Oh man, it, it is it is so hard to do this. I mean, if people think twelve teams is too many, l- look at some of the teams that are that are getting left out of this thing between me and you. I mean, when I went through the ACC. To me, it's like, is it Clemson? Is it Florida State? Is it Miami? A lot of people think Miami is yeah. a top 10 level team. Virginia Tech, really old team. Um, favorable schedule. Louisville, really good team. Maybe not as favorable schedule. SMU, d- does SMU crash the party first year in the ACC? That's six ACC teams right there. I mean, the Big 12, you got, you got Utah, you got Oklahoma State, you got Kansas State all in that conversation. And then you've got the the group of five discussion too when you got you got several teams that could have could have been in there. So I, I think it's it's a fascinating exercise. All right, Chris, let's unveil your college football playoff predictions here. Walk us through it. Well I said we had not all the same teams. <laughs> the truth is we had eleven of the twelve teams there. Where we differed is you had Tulane I had Boise State out of the Mountain West. We had the top four just in a different order. Same top four. I had Utah going as the three. Brings it. Utah brings a ton of guys back and brings back Cam Rising for like a 19th year or whatever he's on now. So that's going to help that team. They were injury riddled a year ago. I, I think that's going to be a super competitive uh, Big 12. You know, look, teams teams that are not in here. Can Big 12. I took one team out of the Big 12. So I left Kansas State out of it. I left Oklahoma State out of it. You're seeing those guys pick somewhere. I went through the ACC. But again, Alabama was a team that I had a lot of trouble with because of like, man, and at first I even thought about not putting them in there and, and throwing another SEC team in there like a Tennessee, like an A&M that had an easier schedule. And I'll tell you where I really had a hard time with Alabama is that road trip to Knoxville. That might be the make or break game with those guys that like if if Tennessee wins that, we might be flipping those teams. Alabama night yeah. might not be in this. Tennessee might be in there. Um, you know, Georgia, the the schedule is brutal, but I just put my trust in Georgia. A, a lot of the computers out there have got Georgia four or five points better than whoever's number two, which is usually either Ohio State or Oregon. I went with that. Notre Dame I had trouble with, Chase. Yeah. Notre Dame's already lost a starting left tackle as we do this mid-August, but it's going to be heavy favorites in most of those games. But on the other hand, you got some some tough ones in there. They've got to go to, I think, Florida State and Southern Cal. Uh, maybe one of those is at home. I'll, I'll check my math here. But, um, you know, it's a schedule that Notre Dame is mostly, I think, going to waltz through, but really tough games starting with A&M dealing without your not only your first round pick last year, but now his replacement's hurt. Um, Florida State, that's in South Bend. USC, that's in South Bend. So they get some of these games at home. Louisville, another one. Uh, I think that's a home game too. So Notre Dame, for the most part, gets, I think, the tougher games at home. Um, Irish were, were tough to know what to deal with, but I think there's a lot of talent. Penn State's another one. 
I feel like Penn State with James Franklin's kind of been knocking on the door for a while to do something. I feel like the expanded opportunity, the expanded playoff gives them an opportunity. Yeah. And I think you've got Oregon, Ohio State, Penn State out of the the uh, the big pack, as we call it now, is, is the Pac-12 and the Big Ten emerged. But th- those are all teams where I feel like the schedules, for the most part, lined up favorably. The, the games to watch, of course, Oregon and Ohio State are going to meet, and Penn State and Ohio State are going to meet. But none of those teams play the, each of the other ones. And so I think scheduling in the Big Ten feels like it kind of was conducive to getting three teams to the playoffs. Yeah, that's a, a really good point. Uh, just looking at these brackets, uh, how exciting it's going to be and what great football we're going to see. I mean, just looking at your bracket, Chris, I mean, we could see a rematch of Bama, Georgia in the second round. We could see, or we will see, Ole Miss, Missouri. Uh, they don't play in the regular season. We could see them uh, potentially, you know, first round or in the playoffs. Uh, Ohio State, Clem- I mean, the games that we're going to see in this playoff is, uh, man, they're going to be yeah. good. So good. Uh, th- where did you have Ole Miss? I had Ole Miss um, number eight. eight. Yeah. yeah. So we would have seen if uh, an Ole Miss-Notre Dame matchup first and possibly another Georgia-Ole Miss matchup. Yeah. And, again, I some of that was scheduled. I just thought Ole Miss had an easier path, and yeah. that's why I seeded. No, no, I, I take that back. I mean, I think Ole Miss legitimately might be the second-best team in the league. And that helps too. But I mean, just just the match. I think those first round matchups on campus are going to be so much fun. Now, I'm not sure Boise is going to be a match for Ohio State or, or you know, whoever they get sl- uh, slotted with. But those other games are going to be, I mean, Penn State and Alabama, that's a, a yeah. game that used to be played every year. Now, it's been a long time ago, but that, that's going to be fantastic. I just, I love the matchups. I think there's so much excitement. Some people think, that 12 teams is too much, but then you start matching them up on campus and the brands we get here. I I just think it's going to be fantastic football. It is. And uh, we're excited. Those are our playoff projections. As we sit here in mid August recording this, there's a lot of football to be played to find out who will get those 12 spots. And we're going to be here to cover it for you all season long here on Southeastern 16. So hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already like this video, Share it with your friends. Uh, drop us a comment uh, what changes you would have uh, on your uh, projection. You can drop that in a comment below. Uh, if you would uh, be interested in sponsoring some of our content, we'd love to talk to you about that. You can email caroline.smith at southeastern14.com, and we can uh, start those conversations with you. Uh, but, uh, man, this is going to be a really fun season for uh, SEC football, but college football as a whole as we enter into the 12-team playoff era we got you covered here on southeastern 16 for chris lee i'm chase robinson we are southeastern 16 presented by bet online